Alrighty, who wants to do a Q&A video? Well, I guess some of you do. You tweeted some questions to me, so we're going to do a Q&A video. How about that? Let's go ahead and get started. Thanks for the questions. Let's have some fun. Mr. Route. That's right. Everybody, hashtag gay for route, damn it. This was a great question submitted a couple of weeks ago that totally and completely slipped through the cracks. And because it is clearly the best question, it goes first. So what happens when you're Mr. Route? That's why people should be hashtag gay for route. Did Al Bundy really score four touchdowns in a single game for Polkai, including the game winner with only a few seconds left, or is that fake news? That is 100% real. 100% real. There are certain fundamental tenets of truth that we know when it comes to the legacy and history of sports in this world. One, Michael Jordan saved the universe from the basketball playing aliens called the Monstars. They took Sean Bradley's powers. Up yours, LeBron. And we know Al Bundy scored four touchdowns in a single game for Paul Kai. It's 100% true. Anybody calls it fake news is a Nazi and or Bolshevik. Maybe both. Maybe a Nazi Jew. I don't freaking know. But there's something. WNC Podcast. Will you ever do a video comparing the careers of LeBron James and Michael Jordan on your other channel? Someday, yes. That time is not now. I don't feel like doing it. I don't really want to honestly get into the muck of that discussion. But at some point in time in the future, I will. I'm just going to appreciate the memories I have of Jordan's career and also appreciate the greatness that is LeBron now. Mounties Corner. Don't you personally wish Double J would have asked for your help to sing along at the WWE Hall of Fame? Three, two, one. One, two, three. What the heck is bothering me? Three, two, one. One, two, three. What in the fuck is bothering me? Mounties Corner, it is you! I won't even dignify that with a response. You mother canuckin' piece of crap. Kieran Chase! Oh, well, here's a good question. Since I'm 18 now, like you couldn't ask this question before you're 18, come on, son. Who's your favorite porn star, black and white? Great question. White one, it has to be Sin Sage, because she loves doing films with the ladies, and she loves rubbing pussies. She is the queen of tripping in lesbian porn. As a result, she's on the list. And as far as the black lesbian porn stars, there's obviously the legacy pick of Jada Fire. Uh, currently might be Anna Fox, Misty Stone, there are others, just giving you a small sample. Hope that answers your question. I hope that answers your question. Uh, Leonardo Batman, would you buy WWE 2K19 if you could relive, oh God, Sin 2001, Survivor Series 2011, Royal Rumble 2015, and the greatest Royal Rumble. If you're talking just about that one moment in time of the greatest Royal Rumble, I absolutely positively would. It would be the only reason to buy the game and the only reason anybody would need to buy said game. So I absolutely would. Tejas Riker. I hope I said that right. I know it's early, but who are your World Series picks? It is incredibly early, but right now I'll go with Yankees and Nationals. But really, really early. Jared Orla, can you please do NXT reviews? Got to watch a couple of NXT episodes before we start getting into that muck. Could happen. I've thought about it. I just don't know yet. We'll see. Byron Andreas, should Impact Wrestling resurrect the TNA Hall of Fame? Sure, why not? What does it matter? Who would they even put in there? Who would they have left? Who would be available? But yeah, what the hell? Why not? 
Voice of Logic. Who do you think fans overrate more? CM Punk, Daniel Bryan, or AJ Styles? You're trying to make me duck from the flaming keyboard fingers on fire. Um, out of those three... Personally, I feel like the guy that gets overrated the most is Daniel Bryan. I will now duck, and you can all hate me forever and ever. Andrew Harrington. When do you think John Cena will win title number 17? If they're going to do something like that, it has to be at a big four show, preferably SummerSlam or WrestleMania. Maybe they would do it at the Royal Rumble for him to hand over to somebody else. You would have to think you win all the way there to the water. You got to go skinny dipping in the bitch at some point in time, you would think. Be really odd to stop him at 16. And deep down, you would think that Vince would love nothing more to find an excuse to put number 17 on Cena's waist. Unless Cena absolutely positively protested and said no, but I, I don't know that I buy that he would. A hug life for life. Why do you think WWE doesn't want Batista back right now? Uh, arrogance, stupidity, they might not think he's worth the price tag, they might not feel like they have the money and the budget for him, they might not think they need him, which are all incredibly foolish things. <clears throat> if you can justify carrying Brock Lesnar, you can sure as hell find a way to justify carrying Batista, period. Just complete and total stupidity on, 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 from my perspective. Just so dumb. The dude wants to have another run, bring him back, have another run. It's not hard. Martin Hall. Is Cena's confession about Nikki Bella his last attempt to truly get over? It is him trying to work people and fool people into conning people into thinking that he's a better dude than he actually is. So it's very likely that's exactly what he's trying to do. He's trying to get the baby face rub in this situation and it's not going to freaking work. Richard Adams. Are you a Mark or Smark? Both, none, one, or the other can be any one of those things. And who cares? But to answer your question, it could be all of them, it could be none of them, it depends on the situation. It could be both, it could just be one or the other. Case 10. Craziest date you've ever been on? <sighs> Craziest date I've ever been on. Uh, probably, uh, I don't have a ton of crazy date stories. Uh -uh. Probably more crazy sex stories, which you probably, guys could probably imagine. Look at this honky, be like, oh, you know, he's a nasty, freaky fucker. Um, probably... The best things I could say is <laughs> there were <laughs> there were several footlocker back rooms and dressing rooms that I defiled on a repeated basis. We're trying to make Obama's bitches <laughs> Specifically the baby mom back room at the old Cherryville Footlocker. Throwing a box of 12 hoodies on the floor and just going to town right there. <laughs> Until I look at my child support, it's not so funny. <laughs> uh, yeah. Some of the, uh, yeah. We'll move on, Keith. Uh, Yellingworth. Thoughts on JR's statements on the Ross report bashing fans for leaving Backlash early. I don't know what he said. I don't know particularly that I care what he said. I'm sure it was some type of sheepish for the business bullshit. Probably had some validity to it and some stupidity to it all at the same time. So not really up to date on it, nor do I particularly care to figure out what exactly he said. Um, Mr. Mike Law, thoughts on Cody Rhodes denying Vince Russo access to All In? I don't honestly really know what the story is. I saw Cody calling him a homophobe, which is a popular thing for Cody to do, as we know. Um, 
But I don't know what the particulars are. I don't really know the story or the history. I don't fucking know. Cody Rhodes is a fucking liar. Vince Russo is a documented fucking liar. So they're both full of shit. So I don't care. Fair enough. Alex Dredge. Would you have liked Taker to have held the IC title at least once? Yeah, it's weird. You're right. It's one of those things. He just never was Intercontinental Champion. Probably would have made some sense to throw it on there at one point in time. So, yeah, sure, why not? Roxana, how should WWE book Nakamura to get him over well as a heel? Personally, I like the no speaky English stuff. Um, I like the nut crunching Nakamura stuff. Um, but it's not going to matter, ultimately, because when Road Dog sinks his teeth, teeth into the characters, it doesn't take long for him to write them into quicksand and fucking ruin them, so. I, I mean, how should they do it? Um, I haven't really spent a lot of time thinking about all the particular details. I just know that they'll screw it up because that's what they do. Hashtag WWE ruins everything. Uh, Taryn asks, thoughts on the Kanye West drama that is going on? <laughs> Two things. One. All the people that hated Kanye back in 2005... For him saying George Bush doesn't like black people are now the ones that are quick to rush to defend him. Because America. Number two. We should not instantly vilify somebody for believing in something different than us. We can question it. We can poke holes in the logic. And if they say something really, truly stupid that's not based off of facts and it's just total bullshit, then it is okay to call it out. Um, that said, my thought has always been this. I completely and totally understand if a black man or a black woman chooses to not vote Democrat. Can't really blame them. But I, for the life of me, could not understand why they would want to align themselves in any way, shape, or form with the modern Republican Party. Like, I really don't see either one of those two parties that have served that population's best interest, frankly, throughout the country's entire history. So, um, and it's one of these things, Kanye's an idiot. It just is what it is. Kanye is a fucking idiot, just like Nancy Pelosi is a fucking idiot. Um... Rudy Giuliani is a fucking idiot. Like we talk about Trump and say that he's a fucking idiot and we should be careful saying that because he was smart enough to figure out how to get himself elected unlike dipshit Hillary. He knows what he's doing. He says idiotic things but that does not automatically make him an idiot. It can make him many things that are not good but it does not automatically make him an idiot. But Kanye is a fucking idiot and he has issues that he's never truly resolved. Sorry, it's just what it is. Uh, that sports guy. Which promotion did you enjoy more back in the day? WCW or WWF? Uh, between 96 and 98, it was easily WCW, especially through the first half of 98. Then it started to shift where it was kind of even, and then eventually the scales tipped for WWF. But always a soft spot in my heart for WCW, even in the bad days and in the dying days. And then Ryan Steele. I get to this question. I was going to answer it before on Twitter, but now I'm going to answer it now. Uh, what's so great about The Undertaker? He's never been a top draw, never been a top promo, never been a top wrestler. What is so great about that untalented, overrated hack? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I will keep this short and sweet. As far as The Undertaker, there is something to be said about consistent, sustained, high-level performance for two and a half plus decades. Sure, he was not necessarily the top guy. He wasn't a Hogan type. He wasn't an Austin type. He wasn't a Rock type. But who would you rather have? Austin and The Rock at the top for three years? Or would you rather have two and a half decades of making a lot of money with The Undertaker? Don't tell me the dude didn't sell tickets. Don't tell me the dude didn't move the needle in terms of television ratings. Don't tell me he didn't move the needle in terms of merch. Don't tell me that. That's ridiculous. 
when you talk about why would you consider him the GOAT, because when you look at the number of eras that he went across over all of those years, the number of people that were better off for having worked with him, the amount of money that the company was able to make for with him, the consistent, reliable, steady hand that he was all of those years. You know, he truly was the bedrock, the pillar, the foundation of so many things that they did. To say he's untalented is ridiculous. To say he's overrated is bullshit. And to call him a hack makes you a fucking moron. Sorry, Ryan, it's true in this case. You could disagree about whether or not he's the GOAT or not. And like I said, to me, it's talking about a bigger picture of things, looking at the length of career, position at the top for X number of years, the number of things he did with a variety of people that helped elevate them and get them to higher spots, um, how much he became the event of WrestleMania at the tail end of his career. There's a lot of things you could point to that says Taker is truly one of the greats of all time, even though he was never like the big, 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 massive megastar like Hogan, Austin, Rock, and so forth. Uh, but I promise you to this day, you show pictures of Taker to the general public, and there are going to be vastly more people that know who the fuck he is than one of your fucking favorites of today. So take that, put that in your pipe, and fucking smoke it. That's the end of the discussion on this one. Okay? Anyways, thanks again to all of you for submitting your questions for this q and I'm sure I'll have some other videos up this week, and we'll do another Q&A this upcoming weekend. So stay tuned. Thank you. See you. Bye. And remember, OTR Central. Buy a shirt. Not the wrestling show you want. Just the wrestling show you need.